guys, in this video, we are actually going to be talking about how you can use a single schedule to stage on multiple air handlers. It's actually using a combination of a schedule and an interlock to be able to bring on several units without having to have multiple schedules. A situation where you may need to do this is in a building with multiple air handlers that can create quite an electrical demand all at once if they are started simultaneously as well as some types of ducting systems similar to some that can be found in arenas to where there are flexible duct systems that distribute the air and which is where we use this type of a setup in our system you do not want all of those units coming up at one time because of the turbulence that it puts into that system, the strain, the uh, just basically instantaneous inflation of those can cause damage over a period of time. So you want to try to limit that as much as possible. And this is a very simple process to set this type of control system up and all it takes is just a little bit of programming knowledge within Metasys. The way that we will do this is to, of course, create a couple of points that are going to be used in this. Uh, what you need to do, you can check out some of the other videos that I have done as far as adding objects. And that's what we have here. This is going to be one of the two points that we have created and this is going to be the other let me pull this over into the panel to where you can see those a little better this is some of the logic that we have currently in this you can see here that the game arena air handlers uh, this point here is just a binary value it is occupied the additional arenas if we needed that supplemental heating and cooling we would be able to bring this on as well what we do is take our schedule here and we will simply add that game arena object to our schedule right here it is you can see it right here in the schedule and that is what the schedule controls as far as our weekly as far as any exception schedules and that sort of thing you can see here this is our weekly schedule since we only use this during events and you can go in and set up your exception schedules for whenever it is needed. Once you have that particular binary value scheduled, the next step is to create an interlock. Again, check out my video on adding objects. I'll try to link it somewhere here in the video. And underneath the interlock definitions, here is that particular point right here, the game AHU enable. This is this point right here. This is what this interlock is looking at. If this particular value is occupied underneath our action tabs, it is going to begin bringing up the air handlers. You can see here that each of these air handlers are coming up at different times. Now you'll notice that some of the times are overlapping. The reason that we do this is because there are two distinct segments within the arena where we can bring up these units simultaneously just because of the way that they currently are. And the remaining units up on that particular system, this big sock system that we have that distributes the air, these units that are overlapping are on two different sock systems. That's why we will have some correlation in some of these times. But what it will do, basically, the first air handler will come up immediately, and then each subsequent air handler after a period of time. Now, since we only use part of those units during standard operation, uh, if the weather's mild, we don't need all of those units to run, we do have the another interlock set up for additional units within our system and the way that we have those set up is virtually the same we've created a another binary value which is right here that is controlled off of the additional arena additional schedule that controls 
this binary value, which is located right here. And you can see it here underneath the, underneath the interlock definitions. What you want to be cautious about is how you set your system up as far as these times overlapping. You'll notice that the time base is different for when these particular units start compared to what they are with the others. And the reason for that is some of the additional units are on the uh, original sock. Uh, if we have some of the additional units tied to the original sock, we do not want multiple units coming up at one time. So we offset these. You see the time base here on these compared to the ones for the other. These, there is just a little bit of an offset on those time frames. And what that allows us to do is to slowly bring those units online until all of them are up. And of course, when they go off, it doesn't matter. We just drop those off immediately. Guys, this is just a quick video of how you can use interlocks to set up a staging sequence to start your air handlers. I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe. Down in the description, you will find some links to Amazon for various products that I use. If uh, you would check those out, I would greatly appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and let me hear from you guys. Do you set up any type of staging operation using interlocks? And if you do, just let me uh, know about those. What type of operation do you do? How do you set those up? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.